Hey guys, welcome back. So if you remember last year during the summer at some point, I played a game or a series of games called The Room and The Room 2. And I've been holding off The Room 3 because I was waiting for a PC release and that hasn't seemed to happen. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been kind of experimenting with ways to record my phone because it originally is a mobile game. So I've now found a way to record the phone using Apple TV, interestingly, and um, I can now continue on with the series. Um, for those of you who haven't seen the first two parts, I highly recommend watching them because they're firstly amazing sets of games. They have a very intriguing story which won't make any sense now if you don't watch the first two. And all round they're just quite integral I feel. So I'll keep a, a, <coughs> excuse me, a, suggestion, a suggestion link in the top here so you can find the first video. And for those of you who have seen the first two playthroughs I um, will splice in like a uh, sort of how the last game ended now just as a reminder Right, so I'm back. So, um, yeah, so this big weird tentacle kind of Cthulhu kind of octopus monster thingy kind of like broke out of the house or lab or mansion that the game is based in. Um, so, yeah, I'm not too sure exactly what, what, well, the relevance of it. I mean, I presume it's some kind of experiment that's gone wrong. But uh, I suppose the best way to find out is by simply playing. So let's begin. Um, before I start, I do apologise if I'm looking down a lot. Obviously, I have to look at my phone to play this. I do have a feed of it running onto my PC screen, but I might have to look down to make sure I'm pressing the correct things I need to press. So yeah, so let, without further ado, let's go. New game. Right. I do hope it runs correctly on my phone, by the way, because I'm, well, I'm running an iPhone 6S Plus. And I presume it's powerful enough to run the game, but let's see. Oh, randomly I'm on a train now. Swipe screen to look around. Indeed, yo, I am. There's a book. Let's take a look at this book. I can't. Yes, I can. So instantly I've got a... Oh, it's a tutorial. Okay, we'll do the tutorial quick. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to have to look at my computer screen to read this because it's too small on my phone. July 5th. AS is gone. His entire house is gone. Right. AS was the character or person who we never get to meet, who I think created all the puzzles in the first two games. And uh, obviously his house is what's been um, is what's been destroyed by this weird monster thing. Pinch to zoom out. Right, but I don't want to zoom out just yet. I want to read that. So. Oh, I can't. What? 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 Okay, I can't read that just yet. Can I read it now? Right, let me read it again. Um, it's, it's kind of annoying because because that thing on the top is in my way. But it was like, AS is gone. I can zoom in. I can't zoom out. Right, that's a bit irritating. I don't want to focus. Okay, let me let me try and get rid of the tutorial bit at the top. Can I can I get rid of it? No. Let me get out and let me click. Double tap on the box. I don't want to pick up the key just yet. I want to get back out. No, okay, I'll pick on the key. Inventory object found, a small key. Now let me read the read the novel. Oh, I have a key. The wooden surface looks strange. I should get the eyepiece from my suitcase. Right, I will do that in a second. Pinch to zoom out. It's still in my way, but anyway, I would rather that I was insane. Um, oh, no, it's really... Hang on, can I change the angle? Okay, yeah, okay, here we go. Ace is gone. His, in, his entire house is gone. I dare not recount all that I saw. I would rather that I was insane and that those in, those inf infernal boxes were but a figment of my f my my fevered my fevered mind. I should never have ignored you. If only I had come sooner. If only I had not come at all. 
July 17th. I have awoken from the nightmare, but I am forever haunted by it. I submerged myself in my work, as if to drown the memories, but it is no use. The null calls, me, uh, calls to me in my sleep and seizes any unoccupied moment to fill my thoughts unbidden. I am marked. <clears throat> Next page. Um, do the little rotation thing. Wow, this is so irritating to try and navigate around. Whatever I did before, I can't seem to do now. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, right. I have continued to the petition. Uh, I have continued to petition the Royal Institute. There is something about their denials that does not sit with me. Their insistence is too shrill and determined, uh, and determined to cover something as innocent as ignorance. July twenty-first, a breakthrough. The Royal Institute rebuffed me once more. An undersecretary with a drawn look slid a packet into my jacket pocket as if uh, as they passed. They refused to meet my eye as they hurried away. The packet included a page torn from a map of the south coast with an island circled. I leave on the first train. I'm guessing that's where I am now. Right, these are all diagrams from the first couple of games of various puzzles that we've done and various sort of like symbols that we've been through, etc, etc. Next page, just some more of it. Next page. Blank, 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 blank. I'm just going to make sure there's no secrets or anything hidden here. Blank, because I know what these games are like. They like to hide a bunch of crap that you need to use in order to progress. But no, it look it genuinely looks empty, right? So pinch, get out. Right, double, ch uh, double tap on the on the suitcase. Yeah. Now I can pinch these open. I can lift it? Yep. Right. Inside the suitcase we have. My suitcase has some modifications. I require a degree of secrecy. Right. Well, I presume there's something going on up here. Because that looks rather suspicious to me. Yep. And here we have, right, the eyepiece. I think that's the same eyepiece from the first game that allowed me to see stuff that might not have been visible to the naked eye. An eyepiece. Right. And now I can put it on. Yes, right. That's exactly correct. Some more symbols. Can I do anything with these? Nope. So let me take a look at these sheets of paper without my... No, let's, uh, without the eyepiece, right? Nothing. Let me see if there's anything that I can see on the back of the suitcase. Nope, nothing. Right. So now let me try to use the eyepiece on the box. Right. And inside, we appear to have a puzzle of some kind. Um, I'm guessing I have to put all that together. Yep. 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 And now a keyhole appears. Right, drag the key into the keyhole. Got it. And I can rotate that. This is extremely strange to do on a phone. I'm so used to doing it on a mouse like I did before. Right, and inside we have a pyramid of some kind, with some, what appears to be some kind of clockwork on either side of it. Can I zoom in? Oh, and I picked it up, an engraved pyramid. And now more strange things happen. Oh, all these vines and stuff are reappearing. This is what covered the house. And now I just randomly have teleported somewhere. What? What happened? Where am I? I don't know where you are, mate. Right, can I use the eyepiece? See anything interesting? Around? No. Let me zoom in onto a door. Is that a latch of some kind? Oh, there's a person. This is the first person we have seen in all three games so far. So, inside there, there is literally a table, a pedestal of some kind, probably got something on it, and some guy came along and picked something up, I think. Can I see anything with that? Nope. Can I somehow get through? Oh, this is, oh, oh, my room's lit up. Okay. Right here, I presume, well, there's a scroll. Can I read it? You were warned not to look for me, but you would not listen, and it has become necessary for me to find you. Welcome to Grey to Grey Home, the seat of my ancestors. Seldom few visitors have walked these halls. Fewer have walked free of them. 
In the past, I have drawn my subjects from the greatest minds of history. Each played their part, but none outlived it. The null, the, the null wraps its bonds around all, all except you. It was a mistake to try and keep you away. I see you now. I, I see. I see now that I have great need need of you. If you can prove yourself, if, hang on, if you can prove yourself worthy, your first task is to find something that will aid you in your trials ahead. Find it or never leave this room, and I will have you. Uh, and I will have gone to great effort in vain. Find it or you will never leave this room, and I will have gone to great effort in uh, great effort in vain. The craftsman, right. Nothing on the table. Pinch to get out. Right. So this is some kind of weird boxy thing. Oh. Happened to rotate it. And there's some stuff inside. A bunch of stuff. There's an hourglass. Uh, what's the word? A locket. A scroll. And some poison. And a, uh, a quill and ink. Some glasses. And back to the hourglass. Right. Okay. Also, a trick that I learned when I played the last lot, uh, the last two games, is that anything that's got this serrated kind of effect on it, uh, at the like at the bottom of this thing, can be well usually rotated or manipulated in some way. What's this thing? That I can't seem to do anything with. This side I have. Uh, it's kind of like one of them little vials you can get that usually contain scrolls or some kind of like glass liquid thing. Um, some kind of chisel knife thing, letter opener, maybe? That's some kind of butterfly moth um, kind of brooch or pin, or maybe an actual butterfly or moth, which we actually saw in the last part, uh, the last game as well. There was a whole cabinet full of moths and butterflies, I'm pretty sure. We've got a pipe, we've got some kind of goblet, and something that's empty. Right. This side, got one more of them, and inside we have. A bone, a candle on a candle holder stand thing, a pocket watch, a syringe. I have no clue what that is. Um, <clears throat> is it like one of those, is it like a toy or something? One of those things that people can pull and the spindle in the middle kind of goes all crazy. Like there's two, there's two sticks and a, and a rope slash thread attached to it with like a spinny thing in the middle. I don't know if it's a toy or if it's got some kind of practical use, but yeah. Uh, a paintbrush, I think, yeah. And back to the bone. Right. So, I presume I have to put all of them in some kind of actual position in order to open up what I presume is that window at the front there. So, before carrying on with that, let's just take a look at this thing. There's a lot of sort of looking around. There's kind of a shape there. I can't do anything with those, okay. Is there another one at the bottom? can't see. There's a candle on the side over there. And the door has some kind of mechanism at the bottom. I presume I'm going to get the key out of whatever is, whatever is in that thing. There's something on the wall here. No, there's not. A window. A candle. Right. Now where? Oh, let me look at this thing. This thing might help me decipher. No, it's not. I can't manipulate those, can I? Nope. Right, so how am I going to know what to do here? Um, let me see if the note has any information on it. Or oh, actually, oh no, you know what I'll do before looking at the note? Let me get out. Let me get that thing on. Right. Right. My face is silent without my hands. The power of flight the well of knowledge the poor have me the rich need me right so they're all clues obviously the power of flight the well of knowledge so here could it potentially be the scroll oh okay now what um, I appear to maybe have accidentally have got all the other ones correct by complete chance. So that was the poor need, the poor have me, the rich need me. So nothing, I presume. The poor have nothing, the rich need nothing, do they? 
Oh, they don't. Yeah, they need nothing. Yeah, because they've got everything. All right. My face is silent without my hands. And that is a clock. So, okay, by total chance there, I have actually landed on exactly what I needed. The only one that was wrong was the quill. The power of flight, the well of knowledge. Yes, you're right. Okay, yeah, okay. So that's opened up that thing. Oh, that was lucky. Um, we got the letter. Let's see. It is quite painful to watch how you blunder, uh, blunder to and fro, half blinded by those crude lenses you stumbled upon. Allow me to pry the scales from your eyes. Oh, please don't do that. These are the instruments of a craftsman. They will allow you to see the universe as it truly is and reach into the unseen infinity of space that surrounds us, the craftsman. Right, now I can't see anything there. Let's just check a look at this. I've got an ornate box. Let's look at the box. Um, there's some sort of mechanism keeping the box closed. I should take a closer look. That's what I was going to do. Um, okay, now, I can rotate that thing. So I want, do I want to rotate it so it's... That way, okay, there we go. Easy enough. Open it up. And I've got some kind of special lens, I think. A lens. Now, okay, he's attached that lens to the eyepiece that he's already got. And that's probably going to reveal something else to me or for me. There's something strange on this door. Let me take a look. I can't see through there. Or through the lens. Oh, yes, I can. Right, I presume, maybe... I'll double tap the keyhole. Okay. Ah, and now I can manipulate the lock. Now, how do I remember how to undo locks? Um, this is going to be all my Skyrim knowledge coming out. I need to line up the gaps in all of the... Um, okay, so that one's correct. The, the second one across is correct, I, th I would assume. That one's correct. But now, how do I move the other two? Hang on. Okay, that's correct, right there. So this one still isn't correct. I need to line up. There we go. Right. So that's unlocked the door. I presume it's unlocked it. And inside we're gonna have another room which is probably gonna be a totally separate puzzle double tap on the doorway to go through it right I actually think I'm actually no, I'm not gonna carry on I was gonna end the video here but I'm not too sure about the saving I'm not too sure how it's gonna save because there doesn't seem to be an options so I presume it auto saves, but I'm too scared to like kind of pull out of it. Um, but we'll see. Let's see what's on this table. Another scroll. Let's take a look. That's you. The key to the knoll will be forged here. I have given you the first piece. For safety, the remaining four are held separately. Retrieve them and bring them to this fo to this font. Only then will you fulfill your destiny. The craftsman. I need a drink. Doing a lot of talking. Right, and there's a fingerprint on it, so, yeah. Let's look through the lens. See, what appears to be nothing of interest. There's a pyramid there. I don't think that matches that thing. Um, no, it doesn't. So, I presume something has to sit in the middle. Let's see what else is in the room. Firstly, let's just do a quick look around the room. With my lens. Let's go and look over here. Right, there's a bunch of shields or sort of like crests of some kind. And can I do anything with them? I can look at it very closely, but I can't do anything. I think there's some missing. Or maybe they need to be moved. I'm not entirely too sure right now. But we've got sort of well it sort of builds into the main crest uh, towards the end like if you look at the far left hand side we've got the red with the yellow sort of arrow point upwards then like a bird appears with two stars and then a black line and like a locust or a cricket appears on one side so it's kind of like building a puzzle or stepping up each time i think those 
shields there, I need to use somehow to build that crest, I think. Because there's all these different shapes. And I don't know if I can actually put them down in a way that... Because here we've got, at the top here, we've got uh, a locust and what appears to be some kind of like peace sign, kind of, almost. Um, on this side, we've got a snake. I'm not... Yeah, a snake and a mouse. Or rat. Probably mouse. I think. Now rat, I don't know. And uh, we've got some red and blue checked thing and like a diagonal yellow arrow like line thing going through a red a red crest. A red shield. And at the bottom we've got a shield with two swords. But I can't seem to move anything, so I'll come back to that. I got a feeling there's some puzzle building there somewhere. What's over there? Nothing. Let's go and check out this door over here. Now go back to the middle. Is there anything on the side of the table? Because I also learnt the sides of the tables and all sorts have all kinds of interesting things. Right, let me just read the note again in case there's any clues. The key to the knoll be forged here. I have given you the first piece. For safety, the remaining four are held separately. Retrieve them and bring them to this font. Only then will you fulfill your dr your destiny, the craftsman. Right, nothing here. And also, I've noticed how the game is extremely quiet this time around. I was pretty sure there was some kind of ambient music in the last few games that we played, but nope. Right, there's some kind of weird stars appearing on the top there. I don't know if that's got to do with anything. Um. Right, if this takes too long to work out, there may be a small jump cut, but that's okay. Um, I just want to look at that through the lens. Nope, there's some kind of tree in the background as well, I've noticed, but the lens is doing nothing. I also want to check underneath it, on that table bit there. Nope, can't. Let me go and check what that... Yeah, actually, look, there's another door there, and there's a symbol on the floor as well. So let me go and check what that door is. Oh, there's, there's also some cabinets there as well or something. Right, let me look at you through there. Nope, but I can rotate these things, I think. No, I can't. But there's some kind of, like, sort of weird rivets or something put onto them like onto each of these wheels and I presume they can be turned but I can't do that just yet there's also yeah there's stuff on this side of the room that I actually couldn't see because it was too dark um, it's actually no you know why it was too dark on my computer screen but on my phone they're actually visible so let me just look at the phone for a second and try and get closer to whatever's over there from here I can't go there but I'm clicking that stuff. I can't do anything with it. So let me go to this thing. Zoom out on this side. Nope, it's taking me back to that door. Right. Let me try and zoom out over here. Yeah, I can't seem to get to that far side where the those cabinets are. I would like to because I want to know what's over there. It's some kind of weird power switch. But I'm trying. The symbol's on the floor. Yep, yeah, I get that. I can't get to it from this side. I can't even see it from this side, to be honest. What if I click the bit in the middle? No. But there it. Oh, wait a second. Of course, look. Triangle. Put you over there. Jeez, I thought that was an arrow pointing to something. But. No. What was it doing now?
Well, that's strange. Right. That's given me some kind of emblem that I can now go and put on the wall behind. So let's go and take a look. Right. The emblem is of... Well... I'm not exactly too sure where I have to put it. I presume in the gap, maybe? Yes. Right, now it's opened up a whole bunch of things. So what am I needing to do? I got this feeling... They're all, they're both on both sides doing some kind of weird combining thing. Where if you look on this side, the arrows and the stars have created Oh, okay, let me see. Okay, okay, right. So I need to try and match up to uh, a symbol here that is gonna create what's below, which is that if you combine the red the red and the, the red uh, shield in the top the top left with the owl and the two stars, you'll get the shield below it, right. So they are doing a combining thing where they're try where they're making images out of well, making shields out of other shields. Right, so in the second section, what we'll get is if we combine those two, we'll actually get that. And then those being combined will create the bottom shield. Yes, okay, I'm getting this now. And that's close the sword inwards. Right, so now I have to do the same thing on the opposite side. This time we've got a mouse and the checked. No, we'll get that, yes. And we've got a snake and a stripe. So I'm looking for a stripe with a snake, we'll get that, yes. And that's created what's at the bottom. So that's closed that shield off, or up. And now it's opened up a new room entirely. Um, so I just got a, got a random warning on my, uh, my monitor, which I need to fix. I've actually recently got a new monitor for my, uh, for my PC and it auto switches off. So, um, I need to change the time so that it doesn't auto switch off. So it was just telling me, telling me my monitor was about to switch off. So I thought I better fix that quick before, uh, I go blind. Right. Well, no, I've still got my phone, but still. So I have no clue what that door on the opposite side has to do with anything at the moment, but let's travel through here. And we're in some kind of strange office. What is this place? I have to find a way out. Right, on that note, I'm actually going to end the video here, purely because I don't want the video to go on for too long, but I don't know if it's saved or not, so I'm hoping, well, I'm hoping it has. Um, but yeah, um, so far, very sort of different, I would say, to the first two games, because the first two games seem to have stages, unless this is one big stage, because here there seems to be more of, more of a flow between the puzzles that we're going through, which is... Well, which is really good still. I mean, uh, it's actually making it a lot more sort of smoother to play and doesn't break, sort of break the game down into sections. And uh, yeah, still interesting because now this craftsman, um, no, not entirely sure what relevance he has. Maybe he's the one who actually creates the puzzles and they're working together. I'm not entirely sure with whoever this, um, what was the name of JS, was it? The JS or DS? I can't remember. Whatever the initials were at the very start. Uh, but yeah. Um, I will see you all next time for part two of the room three, if that makes any sense. But yeah, goodbye now, guys.